hello everyone welcome back to my channel so how are you all doing guys i hope you had a nice week and it will be a good weekend also i'm hoping so for today i don't have any special topic they are just we will see how it goes where we will see some thoughts in my mind but not really a topic to you know talk about so sometimes we are just feeling sad we are feeling angry we are feeling upset sometimes we are upset with the system sometimes we are upset with people and sometimes we are so upset with ourselves we are so angry with ourselves and why are we angry with ourselves so if you analyze it's because you made promises to you or you have some dreams for you you have some aspirations and you think you are not able to do it you are failing to achieve the target or the goal that you set for yourself or the you know the dream or the milestone that you have set for you nobody knows about it you know it's not counted anywhere but your anger against yourself is piling up you are nice to people around you you are the best person best daughter best son best friend best wife best husband but somehow you are not so kind forgiving to yourself and there is an anger there is a frustration building up because you are just too busy you don't know what you're doing or you have not achieved your 2020 goals you haven't achieved your 2019 goals and you don't see 2021 you know to be any different you are not willing to set another goals you are not willing to trust yourself again you are scared you are scared to break promises that you promise to yourself and that's really you know angry frustrating sad and i don't know if we can talk about it to anyone except ourselves and talking to yourself is the best thing but how to talk to yourself when there is a clash inside there is one person inside that you're not happy with and there is one person he wants something from this one it's not achieving and it's angry so how do these two talk they have to somewhere talk but if you keep yourself busy in something and not really sitting with yourself and comforting and trusting again one more time to yourself how will things work out it same like any other relationship with any other person as it with you and this is the most important relationship that you have you know first you have a relationship with yourself and everyone else <laughs> comes next so what can we do i uh, i was in that cycle and how did i break it how did i come to the zone where i am more trusting myself i am more my friend i am more my i what can i am more my friend and companion <laughs> because uh, even when i am alone it's okay i enjoy my company i like to talk to myself i like to write i like to read i like to cook something but i will do something sometimes there are thoughts in my mind i'm thinking i'm talking to myself okay but i built up that relationship with myself i promised that i will be my own best friend and since then it's going good <laughs> it's going stronger and stronger day by day and alhamdulillah for that but the first starting point is to forgive yourself start talking to yourself and just do small little goals you know don't put burden of, on yourself with really big goals you know in the beginning like 
For example, you want to leave one bad habit. Leave that bad habit as you gained it. What can it be? For example, uh, 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 watching too much TV. That takes the most time, I would say. And the phone. You're always on the phone scrolling. And you're not able to do anything else because you devote most of your time to these two activities. And all this time you could have used for something else. And you're angry and upset at yourself because... You know, you didn't check on it, you didn't control yourself. So what can we do about it? Write about it. Check, tell yourself that this is the thing, this is the problem you want to get rid of. How can you do that? Because if you check your own history, you gain this problem gradually. It didn't come one day. You just didn't become addicted to phone in one day. You just didn't get addicted to TV one day. One day you watched half an hour, next day it was one hour. And the day next, it was two hours and then you saw yourself at 2 a.m. and still watching Netflix or something on the TV. I've been there, <laughs> been there, done that. <laughs> so gradually decrease it, like uh, limit your TV time to one hour and uh, for your phone, take a break. Like if you see if you're already on your phone for more than 15 minutes, take a break of one hour. Or 30 minutes in the beginning that for next 30 minutes turn off your data <laughs> you will not check your phone I think you will still check your phone what worked for me was switching off the data so okay I forget that I have switched off my data and then I get no messages there was nothing and that helped so these are the two things that if you want to achieve your goals you're not happy with yourself put yourself in a situation where you have small little achievable goals and it's like breakdown of work break, breakdown structure we call it if we study management or whatever where you break down the work into small little tasks it's same your life is same it's work you are working on yourself you are your own project so break down into small little tasks and gradually increase it i mean you limit yourself to one hour reduce it to half an hour skip after one day watch it only two time on the weekend or two three times a week one hour half an hour which is okay phone limit like after every hour you will check for 10 minutes or after every two hours you will check it only for 10 minutes or you will not watch it during half a day and then watch it in the evening whatever you have to check your messages or reply to someone so limit in i mean limit is the word i would say the key word Limit it, not to uh, just stop it uh, all of a sudden because that's like a, a bit uh, aggressive <laughs> for me. I try to do it slowly, 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 slowly until I do not even know when I have achieved my goal. So <laughs> try it out for you. I hope this helps you. Let me know what other things have you tried and what I can talk about in my next video, what you want to listen to and maybe give me ideas and we can build on it and we see, you know, what uh, better video we can come up with and we can both benefit from. So take care, guys. Have a good weekend. See you soon. Bye.